Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail back with more Starbound, and the apocalypse has come, the character reset is real, Asher will soon be no more, and as a result, I have done some bad things. I have done some very, very bad things. Now to give y'all just a update, for those of you who do not know, the uh, developers themselves, Chucklefish, said that from time to time in this beta there would be a uh, save breaking bugs that would just cause you have to re-roll. And one of those is coming here in the next few days, which is kind of where we're at in terms of where I'm recording right now. And I do upload uh, in batches and then release them later. So we'll talk about kind of the process and reasoning for that other than sometimes, I, well, the first time around, I really wanted to get in as much progression as I could because I knew a character reset was coming. But when I say bad things, here's what I'm talking about. I'm on a snowy world. It's a level 12 world. I have jumped a little bit. In progression here and this is a Florin city that's right the Florins here but you'll notice that there are no people roaming the streets because they've all been slaughtered well there's one up there but what's gonna happen is he gonna kill me no so what I get I got a terror kill stopper out of that that's right I'm on a bit of a <sighs> violent streak I don't know the Florins are always pretty violent and that's something that I've seen come up again and again so we're just gonna, I guess, make do with what we're doing. Floor not ready for hunt, so yeah, right now my character's been focused just kind of on killing people here, partially because they said some insulting things to me. Why would you kill Hunter Punch? So yeah, I've, uh, I've kind of been going a little loose cannon here just on the way out. I don't know if that means going out with a bang, or I don't know if uh, it's at all troubling that I can talk about this so calming, but... Anyway, I was a little curious to see if destroying townsfolk actually permanently deleted them, and it did. So now we're there. That testing is done. That carnage is unleashed. I did get another poison hammer with a armor penetration 16. So instead of belaboring the point, we do have a beautiful snow-covered landscape. But we're going to go back to the ship because we have other places to conquest. But before we do, because I am trying to get in just a little bit more... Uh, let's call it gameplay before Asher's gone here. I do want to talk about the next sort of tier of progression because I didn't exactly appreciate what I was looking at. I didn't really take a quick gander to respond to what was going on. I double checked the video and indeed these level 15 weapons did not appear until I entered sector B. So I feel a little better about not seeing them before. But pretty much what you need to do between to get from tier to tier is to craft this kind of star map upgrade. But in order to get to the next tier what we have to do is actually craft a robot specifically an inactive robot I wonder what will happen if it's switched on chances are it's not gonna be looking very good for me especially if I can make it there but what to do to make this robot you have to make legs which requires pixels and steel robot head which requires an artificial brain which you need to use a brain extractor for and right now one reason I need to go to a different planet is that I'm killing enemies way too quickly with the uh, armor penetration which is actually going away as with with this next update and I'll talk about sort of what changes are in store there as well I did make a brief video saying there will be changes but didn't talk a lot about what's going on but I need to make the different robot parts another thing I can make is the refinery which is a great way to get pixels by using old ores and actually throwing them in there to get pixels so that's not going to be as much of a burden and then as well as that I have started to make my uh, next tier set of armor which would be the Bonesmith, which looks great. So far I'm wearing the Bonesmith's loincloth, which you actually have to have the uh, gold set to make. So the only thing keeping me from making the uh, awesome skull helmet is that I need gold. And while I could mine on this planet for gold, I'd rather get, some, uh, get to a place where I can extract brains. So there's the snow planet. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be. I did test on another character, a moon planet. It was as bad as I thought it'd be. But today, like I said before, my focus or my plan was going to be to go to a threat level 14 or 15 planet and there's already one right here in the system so we've been to the two moons and now we're just gonna go and take a hop here so let's go notice how little fuel it takes to do this so a little bit of jerkiness still you can see both you can see the planet down there and the moon on the other side but yeah what's changing let's talk about that and let's break that down uh, let's look at this hammer real quick which is the awesome space slam which I got from those poor Florin that I obliterated Notice that it has uh, 16 damage per swing and a swing speed of 1.94. Now those are static things and Ty's kind of said before that his intention with this was to have things be static and armored penetration kind of be the biggest sort of stat that deals with a lot of damage. 
where you'll find that your health and your enemy's health are all set at 100 no matter what, no matter what level you are, and armor penetration is kind of the key. But what that turns to from a gameplay standpoint, and I've heard many people complain about this and I've kind of been seeing it myself now, is that armor penetration ends up being the be-all end-all. It's kind of a zero or one sum game, a binary if you will. You either have the armor penetration you need and you can kill things almost immediately, or you don't. There's very little in between. So one thing that they're going to do here, let's just go down to the planet and see what we have going on here. We're at Beta uh, Tenebris Majoris 1 here. So this is the actual planet and we're going to be seeing what there is to see in the woods. I have no idea what's going to be friendly and what's not going to be friendly, but I'll just mine and talk. But like I said, the, the binary problem is that it's not that interesting from a gameplay perspective to just have your weapons be too good or not good enough. So while I have expressed some concerns or worries before in terms of switching the planet level down to something like only 10 levels instead of 100 and homogenizing the content, which I'm sure the developers know what they're doing with that and I have obviously not played it because this is still the old update here. I do think the uh, changes in terms of, okay, so you all are hostile and you're just bouncing around like a four eyes, six eyes. I'm just going to call you four eyes. Are you going to drown? Maybe. But there we go, level 15. So I poisoned him because my hammer poisons. And that's a really steep drop off. So these guys are two hit. That's going to be. And that's where we're kind of going with, with this one is that I want to extract brains, but pretty much I don't think. Uh, you have to actually get the kill shot with this weapon. I don't know how much damage it does. I'm pretty sure it does almost nothing. But see, I just died almost immediately. And I think it killed the other guy right there with it. And what, so what this game turns into after the first sector, after just kind of staying close to the levels that you need is a one-shot versus one-shot battle. You're either taking on your opponents and getting one shot, or they're one-shotting you. And that's just not very interesting. And it's all about the armor penetration that you have. And whoa, this is a thought reassignment place immediately to the left. That's interesting. So hello, Apex Technology and Culture. I can only assume that's what this is. And I have a cozy bed to lay in right here because obviously this is cozy. So let's see here. Blah, blah, blah. Cage lighting, no threat. Flooring use such devices to prepare dinner. That's true. But yeah, just not a lot here. But you can see kind of the conundrum that uh, the developers are in here just a little bit. But fortunately, this brain extractor does do substantial damage as well. So that's a bonus if I can just get this guy to jump down correctly. There we go. So I was a little worried about that, and that doesn't seem to be a problem. You look like you should be threatening, but you're just the friendliest, terrifying face creature I've ever seen in my life. So we'll just keep going. So I do like where the uh, weapon changes are going. So what are the specific changes? And I know we're a little bit into the video now. But the changes are going to be armor penetration is going out. Uh, weapon levels, enemy levels, and all that are just going to the base 10 same as before as we've been to that moon yay um, and what it boils down to is just that you're able it's gonna be much more of a, a traditional sense and that's not always a bad thing of you do a specific amount of damage and I don't need to have my campfire in that hot bar anymore because I'm not exploring the surface of a icy planet or moon but what it boils down to is that you're going to be just doing damage, and the damage is going to be uh, more on a uh, DPS base. It's going to be a lot less of a mystery of how damage is calculated, and we actually have mushrooms as well. And I can grab mushrooms. Got a new blueprint available. I think that is a cooking recipe. So we'll have to do that at the cooking table to see. So pretty nice. What happens when I chop down a mushroom tree? Probably not wood. So good. We get to see some interesting biomes on the way out. Yeah, this is just a... It's a lot of mushrooms, which uh, I do not think that you can eat the mushrooms just by themselves. I could just build something out of this. Let's see here. We can we can plant the mushrooms. No, I can't actually eat them. So we'll plant those. We'll make a little foresty place maybe. Like I said, I'm on a quest for uh, infinite destruction and possibly some surface gold. But I'm definitely going to get iron as well because I need to make steel. You need coal and iron to make steel. But I know I do kind of have uh, some belabory points just a little bit, but really what I'm looking for in the future update is a uh, combat experience that's a little more dynamic. And I know Ty said that 
or Ty, at least in the developer blog, said that they're going to be going to an easy, normal, difficult kind of range for monsters, and that your armor is not going to be uh, kind of the counter positive to your armor penetration, but it's actually you're going to have some kind of specific rating, and then your armor is also going to be able to do things like increase your stats, increase your health, and I just fell on you and tried to attack you with a pickaxe, so that's no good, and I thought I shot you, but I got cheesed. That's okay. We're going to go to the left again this time, because I'm just trying to explore the surface and see what there is to see, see if there's any other places that uh, my Florin can do bad things to. So he's kind of on a uh, kill streak a little bit, and he obviously wants to zap some creatures to get their brains. Brains. So we get the nice, wonderful music. All right, so what do we got? Brains. Wow, this, this weapon takes a really long time to charge up. There we go, so poke. But yeah, uh, I guess one thing that would be really nice though with the combat is just having it stabilize a little more. So like, it's not that you're always doing a zillion and a half damage to things here. Like, even though I have a very, very weak per swing weapon, only 16 damage per, the uh, massive amount of armor penetration is key, but look here, I have only 12 armor, where I could have more. But because I only have 12 armor, there's just really a, uh, you either can or can't do this. There is no difficulty curve, it's just a difficulty steep hill, but we're not talking like uh, EVE Online with the uh, famous image you may or may not seen of. How's EVE Online do? What's the difficulty curve like? Well, it's a mountain, but there we go. I'm getting a lot of inferior brains. I just need one superior brain to craft a robot brain, assuming that I'm... Assuming Asher survives to that, but maybe Asher will just become a... Who knows? Who knows? That is another nice thing, is that at least I still will have all this video evidence of kind of my first foray into Starbound ever, and I was able to get in on the bottom el of the elevator floor in beta, which is something to be said about that, so a nice, going to be a little nostalgia trip down memory lane. But let's focus on playing now. Like I said, there's going to be changes that are coming. We'll see them in video eventually. By the time this goes up, they'll already be in-game and old news, but that's the nice thing about beta, is that it's changing all the time. It's always going to be a uh, different environment. Looks like you can only extract one brain at a time, but still, inferior ones. This feels like a Horrible quest from Stranglethorn Vale, whatever. And what did I get here? A Shroom Lamp Blueprint. We'll go ahead and do that. And 100 pixels. So we'll do that. So new uh, blueprint learned. So, whoa. Yeah, you all get over here. Zappity zap, zappity zap, zappity. Zappity right there. Whew. That's a little too close. Now I'm not sure if eating multiple, I almost said eating multiple brains at once. I'm a Florin. Florins seem to like to talk about eating people all the time. So maybe I could actually eat somebody, but okay. I'm going to miss this side dash on the reset though, but if I do enough farming, I can find all kinds of enchants. Or one thing you can do, people are starting to sort of exchange coordinates for. I found this here that there. Wow. I just dashed into that guy. Oh, God. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this on so hard of a planet. I think I'm going to go east this time. And of course, it's about to be nightfall, so that's not going to end well for me. But if I wanted to, I could just sort of make a, a run for somebody's space base here. But so here's some nighttime. Just going to make a little plot here. And I could run into what I ran into in the toxic biome, that these do not actually grow. But I'd like to think they do. So let's see here. Can I even plant them? It's not even letting me plant them. They're just mushrooms. Well, that's too bad. Let's plant some corn. Because I did happen to get some corn while uh, obliterating other societies. So that's a good thing. Sugar cane as well. Yeah, I could. I have some wheat seeds somewhere, but blah, let's just keep on rolling. I'm looking for things to shoot, pretty much, and that I'm sure at nightfall here I'm gonna have no problems finding them whatsoever. Though once again, with the poison weapon, it is nice because the status effect is going to make them light up like this and kind of light the way. So 
See, here we go. Level 17. I don't do nearly as much damage to, but this is a level 16. Armor, pen, weapon. And once again, you go for kind of creatures aren't trying to kill me. I am seeing... I am starting to see just a little bit of repetition in uh, enemy types, but not a ton as, wow, that was really dumb. Please don't, please do not kill me, friend. Be my friend. Apparently you're really confused, that's okay. But I did, oh wow, was that actually a superior brain or did I just get something else? No, cell material. Oh, that was that was, I was about to say that was really close, but then I took 25 and 50 damage at the same time. So all those pixels that I saw and that nice nerf to 20% pixel loss doesn't really matter when I keep getting myself killed like this. So what I probably need to do is uh, upgrade my armor, but I really think that if I just stick with it and not derp around so much that I can actually kill things, because I have a fast swinging hammer, and these guys are not running at me that fast. So if I don't get cute... I should be able to make it. Uh, the keyword being should. But at least the double dash or the air dash lets me jump through things. There's all kinds of other text you can find that I haven't found yet. So, And that's really luck of the draw. It's kind of like with uh, what I found out about cooking that you just find recipes wherever. I think you're going to charge me. Yes. But you're not going to get me down. Even though you do twice as much damage to me as I do to you. So it's not really the battle of one-shotting here. You kind of got to look for planets that are even con. And I guess that's not a terrible mechanic. Oops. But I do think it's... There's a difference between, okay, I can do this because it's in the game and it's what it's making me do versus I'm doing this and I'm enjoying it. And that's probably where I'm sitting with the armor penetration mechanic. I don't mind being forced to go scour for planets that are near my level that's somewhere between X and Y, not X and Y, but between a certain range of levels. I don't mind that at all. Just when it comes down to really your entire gameplay, you're looking at gear for maybe a good proc, but really just one number. That's just not, that's just not as much fun as was it could be. That is me freezing to death. Wow. So this is a, uh, actually a pretty cold forest planet that is really surprising well like I said or like I've said before if I used to stand around three torches wow yeah this is a I'm gonna have to get out my campfire so I thought I was okay but apparently the uh, extremes are a little more extremey here so let's see there we go so we'll just go ahead and pick up the torches the campfire always gives you like a lot of warmth. Getting out a few torches is uh, more of a supplement here. So I'll just have to keep that there. Fortunately though, because I've been screwing around and dying so much, my uh, health has been reset, but unfortunately dying so much means that I have not been realizing just how freaking cold it is out here in the rain and the forest and the extreme elements. And I think this planet's actually really close to the star, so it must not be a very warm star. It must have some atmospheric issues. I don't know why I'm attacking y'all when y'all are not aggressive to me. But, but there we go. Pixels. 100 pixels per enemy now. So I don't want to dash too much. You just fell into a, a non-pit. I just ran past the chest. What do we got in the chest? More diamonds. All right, so I'm getting all kinds of diamonds, which are apparently really hard to find. But I'm finding them in chests, so I will take that. Yay, okay. That's not good. That's really not good. Bandage. Oh, warty bandage. And let's torch. And let's set up the engagement we want to set up here. Let's eat as well. Which you can hit the alt button to eat now. They did change that recently. So let's see, let's see what we got. Okay, that is a lot of bad guys. But they keep charging at me, so that's not so bad. I just gotta watch out for the enemies here, and I think it's lighting up. I don't think I'm freezing to death. So, yeah. I do not like the look of this, though. But, I can hop over. Once again, very pretty world. I don't think I actually said it before, but it is a pretty world where uh, 
I have nice green soil here and there's more iron for my steel making needs. I actually have farmed a lot of coal. I feel like I've done a lot more mining underground or just mining and gathering resources that way than uh, maybe some other Let's Players have, but it seems like, at least in terms of the dev blog, where they're encouraging you to go deeper in the ground for greater rewards, that maybe they're trying to not so much uh, force people to go and explore deep in the planet so much as just kind of say that it's or just encourage multiple styles of gameplay. So let's see here. Not a lot here. So I know some of y'all who actually do have Starbound may actually be approaching this a little differently. I think you're hostile, and you hit me for 84 damage because I had my pickaxe out. Oh, that's what I get. That's what I get. Like I said, I'd like to see what's on this planet, but I think we're actually maybe going to move to somewhere else. I was hoping to possibly conquer something, but yeah, let's, let's hit a different planet. I'm not really leaving a lot here on it because there is a there's all kinds of things to get and uh, I just don't know how f it doesn't seem like there's a lot on here it looks like there's one research facility maybe we'll try going this way one more time and taking it serious time and not getting ourselves killed which means we need way more torches but I have a lot of resources so because I've been farming things for uh, fuel and what did I just say I was not gonna screw around and they actually have eye stalks on their tail. That is that is a good, horrible creature. So, sun's up. Planet's not going to be nearly as threatening now, but I still have to be careful. Because the night creatures may be stronger, but they are not nearly as scary when they're charging. So usually they're, those uh, kind of tiny research facilities come in pairs. So we'll see if there is another pair here. Okay, so you are, you're just body slamming me. Body slam's not too terrible to deal with. However, I'm a little surprised at this guy's daytime level. So we do have the shroom mini biome. And I, I, I can't plant these sh mushrooms, so we'll just make it through here and call it Shroomy McShroomville. Said so I just kind of want to explore this planet a little bit and see what there is to find here. Once again, that is a horrifying creature. Please don't poop on me, thank you. And if I wasn't going, and if the and if stuff wasn't about to be reset, what I would likely be doing instead of what I'm doing right now is actually farming for uh, some gold. And I may still yet do that. But what I want to do, what I want to try and give myself an opportunity to do here, more so, no, so than anything else, is just to give a quick look at the different planet types. Especially a moon one, which I haven't really explored too much, except for, like I said, on one tiny re-roll. It's just, let's quick look at this character. Because, obviously, when the re-roll happens, or when the uh, character reset occurs, and the blog only said that a character, or a save reset, or save breaking bugs, may happen. I'm pretty sure it's since been concluded that they will happen. At least I'm working under that assumption. I'm obviously going to be playing a different race, different character name, different all that stuff. Not entirely sure what the plan is, but there we go. Shroom, oh my god, mushroom sword. It's only 14 armor penetration, but it's a mushroom sword. That's actually in a, let's see, is this a one hand sword? I can actually be a shroom fighter. Let's do that, that's almost worth it here. So we have, whoa, okay, so this is a, uh, I'm assuming this is a unique, because it has an interesting proc like that, but it may not be. Now it's a little disappointing that it's uh, a level 14, but considering we're on a level 14 planet, that's not that's not unheard of. But give me something to slash at so I can see what this sword does. Pretty interesting that a mushroom sword would have a lightning proc though. So 10 torches, worst chest ever. And by the way, if you do decide to look at other coordinates, what I how I believe it works is that while your galaxy layout may be a uh, Wow, am I actually not? Is this is this not letting enemies spawn or something? Because I really feel like there should be enemies right now. Here we go. I thought there would be some. Okay, so come a little closer. And yeah, that's not great. It's mostly hitting with just the lightning proc, but still, that's not great. And I've heard there's actually still some bugginess with shields in terms of, let's look at my character sheet. 
Let's look at my character sheet. When I hold up my shield, my armor is still 12, but apparently shields can kind of bork how things are calculated a little bit. So we'll keep holding on to this weapon. We'll probably switch back to the other one in just a little bit since it's daytime. So what is this cave? Nothing. Okay. So this is a very flat area. Oh, wow. Okay. We are going to go ahead and switch weapons now. This is not what I was expecting to do here, but we are going to go head on up. And let's go ahead and get the bow together as well, because we have got a new place to see. And unfortunately, I cannot climb this, so I'm going to have to actually climb it myself. So what is this, you might ask? It is an anchor in the air right here. I'm going to have to actually take note and remember what I'm looking at because as we go up here someone has laid anchor for an airship and I assume it's the avians yeah it is the avians and I think they're a little pissed off it certainly looks like they're trying to engage in combat from the looks of it so let's okay I've had enough screwing around here let's draw weapons let's query some funny looking person are they gonna try and kill me? Oh, you best behave yourself while on the ship. So we're not, we're not fighting just yet. Good, 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 good. So let's explore. Cause who, what do you have to say here? I can steal from you as much as I want, and you all won't do anything. I do not know why these guys are running in circles though. So let's here. I can wear a pirate hat if I want to. I can get silver ore, uh, uncommon level 13 axe, an oboe. It's pretty dusty. And you can actually uh, customize what you what your instruments play. And instruments, I'm glad, are pretty common to find. But let's play. Canon and D. Let's play. Do 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 do. Very popular wedding song. But yeah. So just exploring the pirate ship a little bit. This is a this is a nice thing to see. I was really hoping to see one of these, but yeah. Uh, gear, gear, and gear. This apple's clearly rotten. It's got a worm around it. Do I dare? Rotten apple. That's nice. So more bombs. And then apparently you should be able to acquire through some means or another. Oh, let's... If you, wanna, uh, if you want some of our supplies, go speak to the quartermaster. But where's the quartermaster, I might ask? So unrefined wood, but yeah. Apparently you can acquire a gun here some way, shape, or form. Is that a toilet? That's a toilet. I need a toilet. I will take I will take the head off of this ship. Wooden toilet though, that does not sound like the most efficient thing in the world, but yeah, there are all kinds of things up here. I got my eyes on you, that's nice. Well where's the quartermaster? I'm guessing here. What can I sell you for? No, I don't I don't want to take your I wanna do this stuff. Alright. So hatch hatchlings, circlet blueprint. Yeah, that's not what I was looking for. All right, so beautiful change maker. That's a good gun. Awesome fishatron. Okay, so it looks like we have. I know it's level fourteen, but at least we did find one place that has some airship stuff and some guns. So, what kind of guns do I want to buy here? Rate of fire two point eight, energy per shot eight. Let's buy one of those. I actually don't have a uh, ton of stuff left, but Miss Regenerator. It's more like a pistol. That one shoots pretty fast, but the shots don't do very much. Mr. Stormstick. There we go. Energy per shot, 63. Okay, but that one doesn't shoot nearly as hard. But yeah, we got a gun. And this is... I'm sorry, this is just nice to see. I'm kind of looking for a... Uh, okay, that is a uh, really big gun as well. So I have apparently spent all of the scrap that I have. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it scrap. This is not FTL. Yeah, what we're gonna do here? I have a sh I have a shroom sword. That's still pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's shoot this off. Okay, so I am using some energy even with that big one. There we go. So if I shoot some pirates, what's gonna happen here? Chances are not good things, but hey, at least I got guns now. So there's the quartermaster. I can hop up here. I think those propeller blades actually do damage. So anything up here? No. No, no. And who is our dear captain, mind you? Are you a new crew member? No. 
We want some of our supplies go that way. And what do we got here? 16 slots in the cabinet. Was really hoping for something a little more interesting, like some bonus chest or anything. But night is falling, so we are going to start the slaughter. You know why? Because it's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Yep, I don't feel fine because I dashed into him, and yeah, that's armor penetration for you. <laughs> oh, all these people that are like, yeah, I go through and kill all of these pirate ships and everything. My poor little aggressive Florin just can't take it, not without better armor. And that's really what it's going to boil down to for this. So I think that's a good enough place as any to call this video. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to kill these pirates. No, you're not. Denied. <sighs> okay, well, I think next time, and I'm going to do maybe one or two more recordings, I hope, before the... Uh, my, before this poor character gets wiped here. I'm going to try to go to a moon and just explore that and see how that goes because that could net me some good ore. Uh, like I said before, I'm really close to getting the gold set, which would be nice at least for defenses so I don't get immediately owned by people like that. But that's it for now. This is Way to Fail. Thank you for continuing to support my Starbound series. It means a lot to me. And if you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, like or comment. Just tell me what you think about this video or just in general. I know things have changed quite a bit from between the time this video was recorded versus posted, but I do think it's valuable for you all to see just kind of the gameplay in general, because even though some of the core mechanics are changing, the game's still fun, and the game's still worth watching, at least in my mind. But that's it for now. Hope you liked it. I'll see you next time.